Once you've washed your car, you don't really want to let it air dry because you may find water spots forming on the car and the car could end up looking worse than before. It certainly happened to me in the past. Now a common way of drying the car is picking up a drying towel. I happen to have a twisted loop drying towel here. This is great and this is a very, very popular option. However, other popular options are car dryers or car blowers. Something which is designed to blow high pressure, possibly warm air onto the car in order to be able to blow off some of that water. The trouble with those is they can be quite expensive, starting at around £100 and upwards. I've got something slightly different today. It's for pets. So my question today is, can a pet dryer do the job that a car air dryer would do for a hell of a lot more money? This uh, I bought on eBay, it was £51 I believe, um, and it is a pet dryer. It is a 2800 watt pet dryer. Uh, it comes with uh, an extendable hose, it's not particularly long, although it does increase in length when you turn up the power. A um, couple of other features of it, <coughs> let's go to the, the buttons here or the controls, have a look up here. So what we've got here is uh, the power switch and it can either be uh, down to a variable power, I don't know if you can even see that, can you not see that variable? Variable power if you go down and if you go up you get full power, the variable power is controlled by this knob, simply turn it up for maximum power or down for the lowest and apparently the lowest power is 500 watts according to the side of it. There's also heat options here, down for low heat, up for high heat, and that heat ranges from 30 degrees, let's get the, the label in shot here, goodness me, it's not, it's not very wieldy. Uh, so 30 degrees to 70 degrees heat, and the power is 500 watts to 2800 watts. The wind speed or air speed is from 25 meters a second to 50 meters a second adjustable. So at the maximum it's 50 meters a second. This is going to be very interesting. Um, it is really powerful. It's much more powerful than, um, than I expected. So uh, it comes with three nozzles. One is a little uh, jet type reducer nozzle there. Another is a, a flat type. And the third is on the end of it, which is this flat wide type. Apparently this is meant to be really good for blowing water off the panels. It keeps it flat and low and wide. Um, a nice function of it, or a nice feature of it, is this, um, this kind of collar at the end of the nozzle. If you're using this on heat, especially at the highest temperature, the hose can get quite toasty. So this has a gap in there and it's meant to, I think, be more isolated. So when you're using it to dry your car or pets or whatever, um, your hand isn't getting quite as hot. Uh, which is nice, it's a nice feature. Um, come in the pack, uh, you get a spare uh, filter for filtered air in the back. What I also find very funny is, um, <laughs> you can obviously tell this came from China. The manufacturer is Bill, um, here's his phone number, and uh, he's from <laughs> over the sea, and what does it say? Over the sea and the town of. <laughs> what is that? Guangzhou 2nd Street. Well, thanks Bill for that. That's that's great. <laughs> I thought that was excellent. Um, another feature is that the hose is, is quite, this is, I like this. The hose actually locks into place. So it's got these four little lugs on the end and they go in here and you put that in there and twist it and that's it. It's solid, it's sturdy in there. However, another drawback is that with the nozzle going into the end, it is simply a pressure fitting. So um, this goes slightly wider as you go in and this presses on and just squeezes into place. There's no locking feature here, it doesn't lock into place. That means if, God forbid, you don't put it on properly and stiff enough, then when you hit maximum power, you could find this ends up shooting off and hitting your paint. Uh, these nozzles are also, really 
hard kind of brittle plastic they're not rubberized they're not soft or anything like that so you're going to make sure you don't get too close to the paint you don't want to accidentally dent damage or scratch your your paint with these so there is a bit of an issue there also as you may have seen before uh, it comes with feet rubber feet rather than wheels which you'll find on many others um, however they are just a little um, kind of screw in at the end there so what you could do technically is unscrew these feet go down to B&Q and pick up some caster wheels to screw right into it um, it's a very very um, straightforward situation I think uh, to be able to to make this more mobile if you want to however it's not too heavy to carry um, I know the the hose isn't particularly long looking here but as you increase the power, the hose extends. Let me show you that now. So let me get right back on the camera here. And we'll hit maximum power. And you'll see what the hose does. Ready? Woo! See the difference there? So. That's how long the hose goes. Not super long, long enough to do many cars, but if you have to, you can pick it up with the handle and then use that to, to move around. It's not a heavy, heavy thing to move around. Um, as far as the sound, the noise goes, it's actually quieter than I imagined. It's about the same uh, volume or less as my vacuum cleaner in the house, actually. It's really quite quiet. Most of the noise actually comes from the end of the nozzle there. The motor itself doesn't make a huge amount of noise. So I'm really quite uh, impressed with that. Anyway, what I want to do today to test it is not just to try it to blow water off the car. I want to show the difference between blowing water off protected and unprotected paint. So as you can see, the water is completely sticking to the paint. It's not coming off at all, it's not sheeting, it's not beading, it's not doing anything. Let's grab the blower and see what happens. It's more like it's drying it. Let's turn on the heat function. So as you can see, it's drying the panel with heat, but that's going to take a long time to uh, to do that. It's really going to take ages to dry the car's panel just using air and heat when there's no protection on it. Because like I say, the water wants to stick to the panel, so it's relying on evaporation and it's barely moving the, the water. So let's apply some protection to it and see how well it works then. I'm not going to go for something which is super duper hydrophobic, uh, but something which is more of a consumer level. It's a spray wax. This particular one is Detailed Online's Fast Wax. So we're just going to go and wax this panel now and make sure that there's uh, protection across the whole thing. Then we'll have a look at the water repellency and then see how well the blower can blow off water from the panel. All right, so here we go. Nice, clean, shiny, glossy. Very nice, actually. I like that wax. Right, let's spray some water on there. Well, there you go. You can see there's definite protection. You can see it's sheeting off water. And uh, get some light sprays on there. And you can see there's beading going on too, quite nice beading actually there. That's looking good. So you can definitely see there's some discernible protection. Let's, let's flood the panel, get it as wet as we can, <laughs> although it is sheeting off really nicely. Let's, uh, let's try and get it really wet. super wet but but it's sheeting <laughs> I'll be fair this is the first time I've used this wax this spray wax I'm actually very impressed 
Uh, so it's really pulling a bunch of water off, but there's a bunch left over. There's these small, tiny, tiny micro beads going on there. So there's big beads, little beads, a bunch up here. That's all wet, although this whole section here is dry. So I'm just gonna try and throw beads on it instead, and then we'll try the dryer on it and see what happens. Okay, that's about as wet as I can get the panel to stay like that. So let's grab the dryer, the Bargain Basement eBay pet dryer. There we go. And I'll use the, the warm air function. And let's start at the lowest speed that it goes, which is 500 watts. One. You can just hear the noise from there. You can, you can barely hear this thing. Let's have a look at lowest speed. This stuff does blow at its lowest speed. So let's kick it into high gear now. Let's see how that works out. There it goes. A not bad job, I guess. The more hydrophobic your um, your protective pro product, uh, whether it's a wax, a sealant, uh, coating, uh, the more hydrophobic it is, the easier it's going to be to push stuff off. It has left some water behind, although I am trying to do this one-handed while holding the camera with the other hand. Another function is to make sure that air is blown out of gaps that you can't get your towel into. So let's go back to grab the pressure washer here. <coughs> And first of all, we'll use, uh, we'll go into the grill here. That's going to be soaking, and also up here on uh, the scuttle. And then also, nope, that, not that better because that's the broken one. <laughs> You'll know about that if you follow me on Instagram. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. Uh, let's get into the mirror here. Catching a bunch of water. Let's also get it in the panel gaps. Up in the door handle. And then let's grab the blower and see what it does with these.
Now I apologise if that was difficult to watch or difficult to follow because I was holding the camera with one hand and the dryer with the other. It's not particularly easy, so I apologise for that. However, um, I really love this thing for, for the money, for 50 quid. Um, I think it's an absolute steal. I think it's a bargain. Um, it's very quiet at low speed and yet still powerful enough to move some water to get some kind of uh, water out of panel gaps and stuff which aren't too difficult to get into but it has a load of power with this nozzle and if you use the jet type nozzle it will get really kind of into places it's very very powerful um, it's also probably the most powerful hair dryer you'll ever own if you want to use it like that because it has the warm air function as you saw it wasn't just pushing water it was evaporating water it was it was getting rid of it multiple ways uh, which was, was really fantastic actually um, now what I do find very interesting is that products like this are almost identical to a car blower yet it was a third of the price and it makes me question why you would want to spend hundred and fifty pounds on a car blower I know they come with longer hoses some of them do come with a really long hose is it really worth a hundred pounds more than this just to have a super long hose on it and some wheels, some little caster dolly wheels. Really, uh, it does make me question the entire car care industry about um, the fact that car care is a luxury thing. Looking after your car is a luxury. If you want to spend little money, you drive to the car wash. That, those, that's for people who don't really care about cleaning the cars, but for those of us who do, we seem to be getting charged a hell of a lot more money for something which is simply marketed towards car people. If you want to save a bunch of money and get something which is practically the same, I don't think you could go far wrong with one of these, honestly. Have a look around, there are multiple sellers. Um, these are used by people who have pet care businesses and people say that they're decent. Um, I think it's decent with the, the choice of nozzles that you get with it as well, the three different types of nozzle. It's very practical, you can get into different uh, gaps and blow it out of different areas. Um, it does the heating, it does the evaporating, it has a nice long hose which is extendable, it's long enough for my small car uh, but it's not too heavy for me to pick up and move it around. If you're worried about the hose, um, you know, flopping onto your paint, do it just like you do with a, a, what's it, a machine polisher, you put the cord over your shoulder, around your neck, whatever, and then that way you can hold it up here push it around there and then you've got you know the cord or the hose out of the way yes it's not a particularly long cord it's maybe a 10 foot cord or so it's not super long but most of us have extension cords Do you, you know you see where I'm going with this it might be cheaper but is it really that much different to a car related one I don't think so anyway that's all for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, uh, make sure you smash that like button. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel and also ring the notification bell so you don't miss my next video uploads. In the meantime, I've been Specky. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.